Hello everyone, this is Hers and you are watching the loop here world. In this chapter, we are going to learn about namespace access modifier. First, let's start with namespace. A namespace is container for classes and namespaces. The namespace also gives unique names to its class. Thereby, you can have the same class name in different namespaces. In C sharp program, whenever we are using console.write line, where console is the class and it is inside the system namespace. Let's see with example. You can see here we have used console.write line. And here we have added using system write. Console is inside the system namespace. You can see by pressing F12 in console. See, this is inside system namespace, right? So, if you don't want to add this, then every time whenever we are using this console, we have to use system.console. Okay. This is also called fully qualified name. Okay. If you can see here, we have to add every place, right? It is not good to write. We don't want to write every time system. So, if we don't want to write every time system.console, then we can use the using keyword. Using keyword when we add, then we can access this console class without using the namespace like system.console. We can define the namespace using the namespace keyword. Okay. Namespace demo. Like that, we can define the namespace. Namespace can contain other namespace inside this. To define this, we have to use dot and then other namespace like C sharp. I will give like this. Now, how to access class inside that? As for single namespace, we are using this namespace dot class name. In the same way, we can use this full name and then class name. Let's create a class inside this. I will call it as A. How to access this A class inside this class? We can use demo dot C sharp dot A. Okay. We can create object using this. If you can see here, we have added both place this namespace. But we don't want to add every place this namespace. So what we can do? We can use the using keyword. And we can specify it on top of the namespace. Okay, now we don't need to add this. Okay, like that we can use. Usually whenever we create the class, then our namespace will be where we have created the class. That will be our namespace. Like in program class, we have created this class inside C sharp demo. So you can see here, this is namespace C sharp demo. Let's see one more example. I want to create here one folder and here I will give namespace. Okay, now I want to create the class inside that this folder. Okay. So what will be the namespace? The namespace will be C sharp demo dot namespace. Inside that we will have class. Let's create class. I will keep the same name. Okay. Now let's see. C sharp demo and then namespace, right? Because this class one is inside namespace folder and this namespace folder inside the C sharp demo project. That's why it is added namespace as C sharp demo and the namespace. If we want to use this class, then we have to use this namespace. Okay. I hope you got the idea how to define the namespace and how to access the class inside the namespace. Now we will see what is access modifier. We can also say it as access specifier are the keywords that are used to specify scope of variable and functions in our application. These are provide six types of access modifier. First is public, second is protected, third is internal, then protected internal, then we have private, then we have private protected. If we define anything as a public, then it will be accessible every place. We don't have a restriction for public. Okay. If we define any member or class as protected, then access is limited to the containing class or drive class okay for internal access specifier we can only access the class or property inside the same assembly okay for protected internal we can access that member or class in the current assembly as well as 
drive class okay if we define as private then it will be limited to the same class like we can't access this private member outside of class we have one more access specifier which is private protected we can access this member within the same class or within the drive class okay let's see with example i will make it as public public and here i will define a variable as public like int count equal to zero okay now i want to access this count from other class as it is public we can access it okay now i will create a object of class one inside the program class let's create it class one okay equal to new class one okay as we are using this class one which is inside the namespace c sub demo dot namespace okay so we have to use that using keyword and this one now that error count right now we can access the count variable you can see we can access right so for public member we can access from anywhere right now i want to make it as private and i want to access from here let's see the error i will assign to some variable okay let's see the error class one dot count is inaccessible due to its protected level right so we can't access private member outside the class but if we want to access this member inside this class we can access let's create the constructor and i want to access this int c equal to count right we can access here right if you have any method there also we can access okay now we will see the protected member i will make it as protected what protected does if we define any variable protected then it will be accessible in drive class what is that so what is drive class the drive class is that which is derived from some another class you can see in detail in another chapter okay for now i will create one class which is derived from class 1 okay i will say it as class 2 okay how to drive it we have to use this and we can drive from class 1 now if you want to access this count member then we can only access from class 2 but i want to access from here some other class which is not inherited from class 2 class 1 then we will not able to access it right we are getting the error so i will remove this we don't have to create the object because we inherited this one then this property will be available here let's see i will do same thing here see there is no error because class 2 is inherited from class 1 that's why all the property and data member will be available here if it is protected or public okay now we will see the internal what is that if we define the internal member then we can only access inside the same assembly means this is the one assembly if we create some other project here let's create it i will add one new project i will add class library okay class library demo and create it this is different assembly this is different assembly okay we cannot access this internal member outside this assembly right let's see I will create a constructor here and I want to create an object of class 1 which is inside C sharp demo namespace. So we will use this because in same assembly we have class 1, right? We'll say it as class 1, it is from this namespace. So as we are using different assembly, so we have to add the reference of assembly. Not here, I have to add dependency in class library term because we are going to use inside this, okay? I will create object of this type I created that now I want to access the count member from this class okay class dot count C no count member is available because we have mark it as internal so it will be accessible only inside the same assembly right if we want to access see here also we can access 
and here also if you want we can access it see there is no error right but in different assembly we can't access this right now we have protected internal what is it we will define it as protected internal protected means from drive class right internal means from the same assembly if you can see here we can access from drive class and this is not the drive class this program class is not the drive class here also we can access right now we have private protected what does it mean it means it will be accessible inside the drive class and private means the same class if you want to access this member from other class we can't access this you can see there is error right i hope you understand for the access modifier that's all for this video if you found this video helpful let's share with your friends